I'm saying all of that because people have made us lose touch with God yes. in these religions. Yes. They've made us lose touch with the spiritual essence of God within ourselves. Yes. And if you think back to those of you who grew up in Mississippi and in Alabama and Arkansas, think of the kind of conversations we used to have about God, about life and death. It's different from the conversation we now hear when people talk about religion. We have to find our way back to the divine love. God would make his people slaves to make a point. The antithesis of God, even the white man, let me be clear, is an aspect of God. He ain't no separate being. But he's doing what he is destined to do. It is us not doing what we were destined to do. There can be no harmony if everything is on one side of the scale. We are supposed to be on that side of the scale that guarantees harmony. He's on the negative side. We sliding over there with him because we want to feel good. We sliding over there with him because we want to look good. Instead of being on the positive side of the scale, which brings harmony and balance and makes sense of reality. We've got to become Africans again. African is simply a definition of the parent people, which is the first manifestation of God in human flesh. That's all it is. The European is a mutated element of that first divine manifestation. That's all he is. He's an element who mutated out of the black gene pool. And now he mad as hell because he can't be black no more. <laughs> you know, I think I'm joking. What you think he mad for? And you can't do nothing to make him peaceful because you can't make him black again. Now he'll die off in 150 years or so because they're already at minus birth rate, so they'll be dead. But if he lives on in you, it'll be the most dangerous white man that ever was. Wow. As we have proven to be, we've shown in the last 10 years, we can kill more black people in 10 years than he killed in 150 years of slavery. Yes, Hello? Yes. That's not him holding the guns on the streets of our community, or selling the dope on the streets of our community, or spending the money that come from dope and pretend we didn't know how it got in our houses. Hello? That's right. So, I hope my message was clear. Spirituality as a tool to reconstruct the black family is the only way we're going to build communities that will lead to the construction of nation and save ourselves. For God's sake, you've got a, a city right here, East St. Louis, right? That's 99% black. Go run the damn place. Make it your Mecca. Why are you dreaming about the people's Mecca? Make it your Mecca. Make it all that you want a city to be with free black folks in it. St. Louis, I understand y'all are majority here. Stop acting like a damn minority if you know you're the majority. Stop letting these people play with your lives. And think you can just get along by going to a seance on Sunday you call church and Friday to a mosque and pretend you're getting psychological relief from your oppression when all you're doing is making yourself more depressed. Yeah. You can't do it all in one talk in one day. I hope I've done some justice coming here and I hope I've done some good. But I so feel good feeling your love, and I just have enjoyed myself in the 24 hours that I've been in town. You know, from the time Brother John was looking for me in my suitcase, we spent an hour yesterday at the airport, to now, I, I like to be immersed in my people. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. If I was to die right now with you, I'm fine with it. That's right. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs>